In this video, we're going to discuss how to rotate cross sections in a fuselage component in VSP. Now, if we go to the cross section tab, and let's use cross section 2 again as our example here. We're going to change some of the rotation in X, Y, and Z, and also demonstrate what spin accomplishes. So for this, we're going to change some height and make it quite narrow so that we can see how this is behaving. Now, we can shift this in Y and Z to further demonstrate exactly what these parameters are controlling. So notice how if we adjust rotate in X, we're rotating about an X axis, which is positive aft, about the center of this cross section. If we rotate in Y, we're rotating about the Y axis through this cross section. Notice how these feature lines right here and here are remaining fixed in space while these are moving along with the cross section. And we can also rotate in Z. Note again how the top and bottom sections are remaining fixed in space. So you might wonder what the difference between, say, spin and rotate X happens to be. Well, let's watch what happens. I'm going to set these all back to zero. And now we're going to adjust the spin. If you take spin and start to adjust it, notice how the feature lines are wrapping around the cross section, but the cross section itself doesn't move. And this is very useful whenever you have odd cross sections that are perhaps causing kinks in the skinning or that the feature lines aren't lofting quite where you would like them to land. You can always use spin to try and change where that feature line lies on the cross section and get it to come out a touch smoother. Now notice that if you really want to, you can turn this around so much that you turn the fuselage component on itself. So you can wrap this thing up like a balloon animal if you really want to. But for the purposes of this demonstration, just notice that spin rotates the feature line location. So that's a demonstration of how you can rotate or spin cross sections in VSP.